Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to have you here with us in beautiful Venice. Maybe you could begin with a brief introduction to the film Snow Leopard. What can people expect when they watch it? It's a very unique film and different from Pema Tedan's previous work. Um, it will provide a totally um, refreshing experience and sensational sense here. And I know it wasn't your first time working with the director. What makes him really stand out um, as a filmmaker? Tajush um, I mean, before Pema Tedan becomes a director, he is uh, he's also a novelist. Um, he read he Pema Tedan's work uh, as novels a lot, and he's already super attracted to him. And when Pema Tedan becomes a director, he also becomes an actor. So that brings them together, and he's immediately. I mean, he's always attracted by Pema Tedan. He's a Pema Tedan is a super attracting people that to make everyone around him. And what really seems to stand out about the film is how it brings together the Tibetan culture um, with this, uh, the amazing visuals of, of the snow leopard using CGI and special effects. Um, why do you think it's so important to show Tibetan culture that moves away from the stereotypes? Mm he think it's not only about Tibetan culture, but also to every groups, to every to all the people, to every ethnic groups, and and only the people inside it they can or they have the they should to find something original to from their own experience. That's their duty. And what can you tell us about the role you play in the film, and how did you prepare to, to play it? The role is the role of the the role of 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 就整个演员的状态是跟以往不同，这地方我就特别特别吸引我，还是对，所以呢，我也就尝试尝试一下不同的一些东西，对，那次反复的话就就太无趣了。um, yeah, he used to play in Pema Chaden's previous work, work, Jinpa, as well, which is also his own, na the own name. And also in this one, um, his role is still called Jinpa. But this role is very different from the pr all the previous roles he has been participated as. Um, it's in a totally different mental condition. And he is really into this new experience and this new challenge. What was maybe the most difficult moment on set or the most difficult scene to film? Mm. Mm. 状况就每次出现，然后就我们就只能拍两条，然后就休息一下，又拍两条，就就这样。The main difficulty from this film is actually a physical challenge because he needs to uh, keep his energy 
very high, very anxious, and actually the place they shoot is beyond, it's about, uh, it's merely 5,000 meters attitude. So that's a physical challenge you need to uh, handle with your body. So every time with few takes, and the shots, it's with a lot of dialogues and long takes. So sometimes with after two shots, they need to, uh, for him, he need to rest after two shots, yeah. Did you, on the other side, have a favorite moment um, that, that was your, your, your best moment on the shoot? Actually,每一场就是每一场就每一场已经都是特别难忘,就是特别好玩 这样的话，还是我们呈现的东西都是，呃，就个人的感觉就是特别兴奋，呃，特别好玩。嗯，filmmaking is a long process, so actually every day everything is very exciting to him. Every day is new, and there's always unexpected condition happen. That's what film attract them, and yeah. And when there are, you know, special effects and it does look so beautiful, the final product, but maybe when you're filming, you don't know how it's going to look at the end. So was it, a, you know, a, a nice surprise seeing how the finished film looked? The 然后就是就特特效的那做特效的那些人他们也在现场然后就他们去这么演就给他知道就这么拍出来的然后就那个女演员也特别不容易她就是一直拍到我们杀青为止她演的就是血包然后就是她穿衣那些就衣服啊那那
各方面就是很很，呃，比如说我骂的电影就是很全面的一个东西，所以呢，你就是从这个电影中，你你可以能看到很多东西，能感受到很多东西。对对对，希望你有有好的收获。<笑>对。He's almost. His own role is a very family man that who is very responsible, but for Pema's、uh, works is always very comprehensive, and he thinks every audience can gain different thoughts from this film too. And obviously, so sad to learn of his passing just a few months ago.、Um, so maybe you could say a few words, you know, being here in Venice,、um, but of course also representing his legacy, which must feel very special too. 就是虽然导演不在了，但是这部电影上面他就花了很多的心思，对，呃，这个拍的也不容易，然后就各方面就是种种种困难，呃，但是我们就终于做出来了，我们就拿到这个威尼斯了，然后就我们希望就是更多的观众就能看到这个片子，就是有一个好的反响，啊，谢谢。Um, Pema Tiden's part is a huge loss to them,、um, and the Stone Leo part is a work that Pema Tiden and also the whole team put a lot of effort in.、And、anyway, they are in Venice now, and the key point is to bring this film to more audience, for them to in, to see the film, to see what Pema Tiden、uh, left for us, and yeah, the film itself. Lovely. Thank you so much for your time, and really enjoy your time here in Venice. And thanks for the translation. Thank you so much.